Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dr. Khalid Blankenship. MashaAllah. Um, I first met Dr. Khalid some years ago, over a decade, perhaps almost two decades ago, uh, and that was even before I started to study with him at Temple University. Um, I used to, um, uh, to go to his office and we would have private classes and we would read Arabic texts together. Um, I think the very first text we read together was the Sira of Ibn Ishaq. Uh, and then we followed that up with uh, the study of some Maliki texts, such as the Arishal ibn Abi Zayd al and some of the commentaries, such as Fawak al Dawani of uh, Nafrawi. Uh, and, um, and then I also uh, took uh, some of his graduate seminars. Um, one intro to Islam, one on Islamic jurisprudence, uh, and perhaps some, something else I uh, can't recall at the moment. But Dr. Khalid, is, he, he's, he's more than just a teacher, a scholar. He's been a father figure for me in a lot of different ways. And as a matter of fact, uh, when I went to Morocco, it was actually him who, who directed me to do so. When I decided that I was, it was time for me to leave America and go overseas, it was him who actually told me, well, we should go to, you should go to Morocco because uh, we don't know of anybody who studied there. And uh, it would be good to uh, have an American graduate from a Qarabi University. Uh, and so uh, I decided to listen to, take the advice, that, that advice and I went to a Qarabi Union in Fez. Uh, but once I arrived in Fez, uh, it became very apparent that the Moroccans were in doubt of my ability to actually follow along in the classroom. So I arrived in about sept early, late September. Uh, class starts perhaps in uh, October, uh, mid to midway to the start. They start in late. Uh, I'm attending class and I continue to contact the ministry uh, and to uh, find out uh, whether or not I'm a registered student. You know, they keep telling me, don't worry about it, just keep going to class. And so about four or five months goes by, then Alhamdulillah, Dr. Khadi, he visits Morocco. I let him know that they still haven't registered me in the university. He calls the, the Minister of Islamic, Islamic Affairs, and right away they officially make me a student. And I think perhaps they were just looking to see whether or not I was going to drop out, you know, and find that the curriculum may be a little bit hard for me. At any rate, Dr. Khadi is an amazing scholar. Uh, we know his work uh, of, uh, about the end of the uh, the Umayyad dynasty uh, of the, um, um, uh, the, the that he has published. He's published a number of different works, uh, translations uh, from Imam Tabri's uh, history. Uh, he's not a very ambitious uh, professor, but he's definitely a, a, a gem. Uh, even Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, when he talks about him, he, he says that he's one of the smartest people on the planet. Not just one of the smartest people he knows. He's like he feels he believes he's one of the smartest people on the planet, uh, and he on one particular occasion called him the modern day Ibn Khaldun. Because uh, Dr. Khad is very diverse, as we know that he's not only a historian, he's really a trained astronomer, among other things. He he you you sit with Dr. Khalid and and almost any topic you bring up, Dr. Khalid knows something about it. Uh, and even Sheikh Hamza makes some jokes about that one time, uh, some more some, some from time to time about how. Uh, that the Khad is just like a know-it-all type of guy. So any almost any topic, he's very uh, amazed with his his knowledge. You know, but as I mentioned, he's not very ambitious, and so for that reason, we don't see him on electric circuit. He's content with what, what he's doing, but he definitely has a lot of unique information and knowledge that the whole world should uh, uh, be trying to benefit from. Uh, and um, and we're glad to actually have him working with us and dedicated to Lampos, the Lampos Education Initiative. Uh, and, um, and, and doing classes with us as well. Um, um, and so we hope that everybody uh, who, who, um, who are around and are watching this video will take advantage of the class that we're having with them right now on the Crusades. And it's an important period in uh, Islamic history or in human history, as a matter of fact. And uh, he, he definitely, Dr. Khalid has this way of bringing everything back home and making us see the bigger picture and how uh, history, the past connects with the present and even perhaps with the future. So um, looking forward to this class myself and, and I hope everyone else is looking forward. And, and look, so hopefully um, you'll sign up and, uh, and, and benefit from uh, this precious jewel that we have in our community called uh, by the name of Dr. Khalid Blankenship. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.